You know what the worst thing is? Calf cramps in the middle of the night. You know what's worse than that? When you try to get out of bed only to fall flat on your face because you forgot hours before that your calf cramped up. That happened to me this morning. But you know what doesn't cramp? Your style? Horrible segue. Nelly Daily. Let's go. After a leaked listing, the next Amazon Echo device is now official. The new device is called the Echo Show, mostly because Alexa can now show you things. The Echo Show is a Wi-Fi enabled home device with a 7 inch screen that responds to voice commands and plays media just like other Echo devices. On top of the regular features like making to-do lists, checking the weather, watching YouTube, the Echo Show can also make and take video calls with other people. The Echo Show comes in white or black, will cost $200. $129.99 and will be shipping starting June 28th. What do you guys think of the Echo Show? Will Google soon come out with something similar just like it? Leave a comment down below. Looks like Google's Project Zero, a team of security analysts employed by Google tasked with finding zero-day vulnerabilities, has found a crazy bad Windows flaw. The flaw was found in Windows Defender that would leave people open to remote attacks. The attack could occur via email even if the email wasn't entirely opened. Luckily, Microsoft has responded quite swiftly and has already issued a patch for this exploit which will reach systems automatically within the next couple of days. If some of you are paranoid about this exploit and want the Apache ASAP, try scanning for Windows updates. At GTC 2017, Nvidia is showing off a proof of concept that showcases a multi-user location-based VR system. The system itself uses four Nvidia Quadro P6000 GPUs to run four virtual machines on a PC server which in turn allows Nvidia engineers to power four HTC Vive Business Edition headsets. Combining HTC's Lighthouse tracking and this PC, it allows four people to use VR while while sharing the same physical space. The original purpose for developing the system was to figure out a way to support multi-user VR and from there other ideas began to emerge. One such idea could include a mixed reality spectator view. A senior solutions architect from Nvidia, Tom K, says that the possibilities are endless. Oh, you know what it's time for? <laughs> Lightning round. Cooler Master launched their Masterbox Lite 5 chassis today. The Lite 5 is a compact case meant to offer style and performance for MSRP of €49.99. Euros. Samsung just announced that they will be accepting pre-orders for unlocked versions of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus for the US. Both unlocked models will hit store shelves May 31st. Eurogamer and its sources has confirmed that the image of the next Assassin's Creed game is legit. The next game is rumored to be a series prequel, hence the title, Assassin's Creed Origins. What I'm actually curious about though is in the image near the top left hand corner, it says assassinate the crocodile. Hmm, the plot thickens. But maybe don't assassinate the crocodile. It can bite your hand off. Rumors say that AMD will be revealing their long-term CPU and GPU roadmaps next Tuesday, May 16th. Hmm, interesting, interesting. And a speedrunner has beat Prey in under 20 minutes thanks to glitches and wall clipping. I mean, I do have a respect for speedrunners, but come on. You just paid $60 for a game only to beat it in 19 minutes? Congratulations, you played yourself. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NSX forum post linked down below. How many hordes would the Mongol hordes hoard if Mongol hordes hoard hordes? Hmm, pretty sure the answer is five. A solid five. I don't know. But thanks for your yo dog submission, Tony. If you have something random for us to say, hit us up on Twitter with hashtag NCIX yo dog. Yo dog! I just want to let you know that every day NCIX picks one product, slashes the price, and calls it the extreme deal of the day. Yes, I said every day. The jaw-dropping savings for each product does have a limited quantity and you can check back every day, midnight Pacific Standard Time to see the new extreme deal of the day. Today's extreme deal is a Seagate Iron Wolf 4TB NAS hard drive for $169.99. Click up here for more details. The NSX.com extreme deal of the day. Crazy good. 
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. Now if you'll excuse me, gotta go look for some new lights because one of the lights stopped working, hence the different lighting. <laughs>